Hi everyone, my name is Adebayo Oluwa Busolami. Mercy. I'm from Ondo State, Akure South to be precise, which is in the southwestern part of Nigeria. So for this program, I'm going to be your Yoruba instructor. Oru ko mi lekosi oni Adebayo Oluwa Busolami. Mercy. Mo ji omo bibi ilu Akure ati o pinle Ondo. A minimum mama koyi ni e de Yoruba, you know, classy tawai. You know me don't, but he just came my intimate. Oh, my educational background. Okay, I went to Adekunle Adachi University, Akumba Koko, in Ondo State, Nigeria, where I studied Yoruba studies in the Department of Linguistics and Languages. Molosi ile eko giga facility Adekunle Adachi University ni ilu akungba akoko ti o wa ni ipinle on those states ni orile de Nigeria ni bi ti mo ti keko gboye nipa ede Yoruba Yeah 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 I got the passion from my grandma like you know my grandma is from Akure on those states and she happens to be one of the chief in a Korea town. So I lived with her when I was growing, maybe for a short period. But within that period of time, she taught me so much about culture. She likes culture very well. So let me just say that, because I lived with her while growing up, she ignited the fire in me for culture. So I would think that was why, the first point, that was the first reason why I love culture and Yoruba and let me say the second one is that I've always been a very good um, student in Yoruba studies even while in secondary school I've always been the best student in Yoruba studies and so while I wanted to write in my jam that is the entrance exam into the university one of the subjects I put in for was Yoruba and at the end of the day out of all the subjects I wrote I had the highest mark in Yoruba and so I gained admission into the university to study Yoruba. Ti mu fi lo ko eko gboye ni pa imo e. Ede Yoruba ni pe nipa ti mu dagba. Ta si wa ni ewe ta se n dagba. Oye yin mo gbe liyan do iya iya mi to je oloye ni ilu akure ni ipinle ondo. So ni eredi gbogbo bi won se ma se fun wa iya iya mi ni fi asa gidigun. Mo je ki a mo nipa asa ede Yoruba mo fi ko wa gbogbo iwo ba igba perite ti mo gbe lodo iya iya mi o wa mu yin ni ife lo fun mi ni ife lati ni ife ede yoruba ati asha yoruba e iya iya mi ni ife asha yoruba lopolopo a wo do fi rosi igba ti idikeji ni pe igba ti mo wa ni ile eko ile eko grammar yes secondary school mo je akekokun ti o ma ngbe ipo kini daada inu ede yoruba eyi lo wa mu mi ki nigba ti mo fe ko em idonwo lati fi wo facility mo mu ede yoruba lara ikan lara won em course ti mo ma se nigba ti esi idonwo ma jade ede yoruba ni mo ti ko goja sheri pe mo dara kuko ninu ede yoruba so ife mi fun ede yoruba Lomu mi lo koi de Yoruba ni fasite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obvious. Wow. They are much. Let me start from research. I love research a lot. Because I love enhancing my knowledge. I want to know more. I want to know this. I want to know that. And let me just say, I don't want to know that. Okay, let me just say, um... If, if I see anything new, I don't know. I want to know about it. I just want to know. Then I love meeting people from different parts of the world. I love traveling a lot in order to meet people, different people from here, from there. Then also, I love talking. I love teaching. Let me say, I love teaching, imparting knowledge. So I, I love that part. Yes, I love teaching a lot, a lot. I love it when I just find myself in a situation where I have to teach you, I have to impart. Then I love learning. 
that's why i make a lot of research i love learning too then another one is i love sewing i love to sew clothes especially the traditional clothes you know i run bag bada shara all those kind of clothes then i will also say i love to help people helping let me just say my hobby is helping hobbies are many but i think those ones are the main one on to money fedgel a lot in my shade money for lot in my shade wadi money for wadi loko loko you must see wadi bo boom to bar to bar to bar room in loju money for lot in my wadi in your coco money for lot in my room you Kima come out when we are joking. My rich share when you kill this ma, but rich share when you sure. Lati or rich rishi, he be new rich rishi. Um, you look and Omiro ni pe money for lati maro show. Look for look for a short career, a short brain, a short he be le. But she should take balude good boy. Money for lati mashi and then but you need for lati maro in your lower. Ki ma ron yon lo wak, wako lo komo ni fe yon. Um, e yiti mo wani fe ju lo. Ni la ti ma koni. Mo ni fe ati koni lo po lo po. Ki konyo, ki eni yon mo. Oun, i di ti mo fe yon, si mi ti mo fe yon. So kwe, mo ni fe la ti ma koni. Mo ni fe la ti ma wadi. Mo ni ti abade mo. Ti mo ti wadi, ti mo ti mo. Mo ni ti abade mo, do doni ki afi konyo. So, ahon, ti mo ni fe la ti ma sheni yon. Oh, that is a very, very big question. Okay, number one, I will say that it makes me wise. It makes me wise. You're budgeting log more lorry. Like, I become wiser than my mates because of so many things you've learned in Yoruba. Yoruba is a deep language filled with so many cultures that makes you wise. So it makes you, all the cultures, everything we've been taught, makes you know how to decide, how not to choose wrongly, how to behave, how to do this, how to do that. So it makes you wise, number one. And it makes you know the right thing to do in the right time. Because, okay, and with this, I got so many commendations from people, you know, when you get to meet people from different parts of the world, and with your character, with the way you showcase yourself, they will just have to ask me sometimes that, where are you from? And I'll be like, okay, I'm from Nigeria. Where in Nigeria? And I know you're from Nigeria, so where in Nigeria? Then I'll be like, I'm a Yoruba girl. Oh, wow. No wonder, as in you are cultured, you have manners. Yoruba is, a, I would just say Yoruba is a de omoluabi. Omoluabi, you know, Yoruba, we are cultured, Yoruba people, we are cultured, we know how to behave. So learning more of Yoruba makes me wise, makes me know what to do, makes me know how to relate with others and how to relate with my peers, makes me know how to treat people all right. So Yoruba is a very good language. So, this class is going to be divided into three levels. Three. The first one, which is the beginner's class. The second, the intermediate. And the third one, which is the expert. So, in the beginner's class, we are going to be learning um, Yoruba alphabet, which is alphabet to Yoruba. Um, um, we are going to be learning numbering, onka. We are going to be learning time telling, agogiwo. We are going to be learning vocabularies and we are going to be learning word, simple word formation. So at the end of the beginner's class, you should be able to know how to form little words and you should be able to know the phonetics in the Yoruba language. So in the, in the intermediate class, which is, we are going to be learning how to, we are going to be learning the, the figures of speech, which is I want on a day, you know, the Yoruba. 
which is the noun, the pronoun, the verb. And also, we are going to be learning sentence, bulohun, a simple sentence in Yoruba, how you can form simple sentence in Yoruba. And also, we're going to be spicing it up with a little bit of folk tales so that you can, so that it will, won't get too serious. Oh. So, at the end of the intermediate class you should be able to form simple sentence in yoruba and you should be able to know the figures of speech in yoruba so for the s part class we are going to go deeply into more of the figures of speech in yoruba which are the adjective the adverb and we're going to give you examples and more so you're going to learn more about the figures of speech and we're going to be going to culture where you learn the culture of Yoruba, dress the national we wore, you know, did the own jail Yoruba, the songs, the proverbs, and so on and so forth. So you're going to be learning letter writing, how to write, how to write letters in Yoruba, in your letter kiko. We have two types of letter, letter befe and aig befe. And also you're going to be learning the literature aspect of Yoruba, literature alone, literature aquile, called the written and the oral literature. So at the end of the expert class, you should be able to know more of Yoruba, you should be able to form more sentences in Yoruba, understand Yoruba, speak Yoruba, and know about our culture. Yeah, thank you for your interest in this course, and I'm so excited to be your instructor in this journey of learning Yoruba language and culture. You know me do you know 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 Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share if you find this video educative. You can hit the bell button to get notified when we upload our subsequent lecture videos. See you next lecture.